Hey guys, happy Splasher here. Good evening. We are going to finish up our high growth for the week. And so, yeah, let's get it started. One of the things I mentioned before is that we were waiting for a Crisis Fable to show up. And so this is actually what the Crisis Fable is. You'll see here. It lasts for about a day or so. So this will go through the duration of the high growth, as you'll see here with these other desired wealth and the high growth over there. Yeah, so these these both the high growth and the desired wealth, they do share the same timetable and this one does overlap. So we will have it ready for the entire high growth. As you see here, the Crisis Fable, it lowers the level up cost by a certain percentage. So if you do wait this long up until Sunday, it'll be typically Sunday evening and you'll see that the costs are lowered. So we're going to do that. As mentioned, we do want to level up our league heroes and so this is the current league squad that we're using right now as you can see a lot of them are actually back to level one because we did go for the reborn and so yeah let us do that excuse me also going to double check and see how many more levels we do need for each level so in this case we need 38 gonna make this as quickly quick as possible so let's do this we'll do them in barrels of five so as you'll see, the skills will increase every time the star is filled up here. Okay, and you see our cost right now is pretty low. We do also have our guild boosts, or guild bonuses active rather. So we have the two over here. We have the self-perfection that lowers the evolve cost in case we need more copies of a hero. And then also the cheap upgrades, lowering the cost of leveling up even more. Okay, we also are running a hunt right now, so we are going to claim some of these. And as you see, we'll have Order and Chaos, which we do have for our level ups. So we'll go back now to our squad. And again, we will balance this out. So you can see we have plenty of gold right now, at least for these lower levels. Okay, and leveling up these as well. This Dead Lord still works at level 1, but it's really where the zombies come in that sets it apart. Because although it still has that transform skill, it's the other zombies that create an issue for the opponent. Okay, so let's see where we are. Okay, so we're at 6 right now. Let's keep going and balance these out some more. Okay, looks like we finished our hunt quest over there. Level this up to level 11 first, and then go back and claim up the soul for the hunt and see a lot of back and forth i really wish this would have changed in terms of the interface all right uh we also have this quest one over here might as well claim that okay we'll claim our daily quest chest cool some gems and some extra points for the mighty pass see how many souls we need. Okay, so we need 19 more level ups. As we get towards roughly around 90% of the requirement, a notification will pop up and show how many more we need. In this case, we'll continue on with our grace. Okay, we also finished up the order one. Okay, we'll claim that one as well so that it doesn't show up in our box anymore. Legendary. We're not going to do this Demigods one as it does cost more gems than the actual hunt. Unless you have the Demigod scrolls, which you'll only really get if you're a free to play player through the world events. Okay, and checking once again, as we don't want to over level and not have those levels count for the next high growth level. So in this case, another 14. Some more over here. As you can see, the gold cost is getting more expensive. Okay, uh, we'll level up our grace again. Hmm, 40 damage. All right. And we are six away from finishing up this particular level. 
level bar discordia it is fine because although this hero's main purpose is to give the extra attack to two of our heroes it's still good that it can be an attacker and then also has its death trigger to deal damage to melee heroes okay we're four more off Okay, cool. And we can also get it to level 16, so a new set of skills there. And I believe there's only one more. Okay, right, cool. So we're at the 40. We'll go back to the Fables. Getting the reward, so we can open up the next requirement, which is 70 times. Okay. We will probably switch to low level heroes at this point as the cost of gold is getting pretty high. So in this case, let's see, we could level these up. Let's do the lower level heroes first so that way we could potentially get a second level of high growth. So you can see here we do have a lot of heroes that are on the reborn side. We do these on up to level 6 so at least then they'll get an upgrade in their skills. So you can see here, roughly, it is costing around probably close to 1500 to 2000 Okay, we'll move over to the next one over here. We want to balance out our squad as it stinks when you draw one of these heroes in Pit or Dark Tower and they only are at level 1. So at least then we'll have a better baseline for leveling out our heroes. Okay, moving on to the next one here. Worst case scenario, we spend some gems to get some gold in the shop. But for now, we're controlling the amount of gold that we end up spending for this high growth. I have no idea how many levels we have for the, the high growth level, but that is okay. We'll start seeing it once we get to that 90% as mentioned. So as you can see, there are three of these skills that are upgraded because we did get to level 6. Doesn't happen all the time, but usually whenever one of those stars are filled, a, a skill will usually be developed much higher. Also have to be careful that we either don't over level a particular hero or level up too fast because the game does crash every once in a while when that happens. So keeping that under control and get our Shimuno over here to level six. Oh, all right, level up our Freddy here. Okay, some extra damage to our skill here. Okay, and moving on. I don't really use the boss hero that often, but it's good to draw in the game modes. And seeing how much gold we still have left, we could... Yeah, most likely we can finish up another level of high growth. Okay, upgrading that new Ogork with the reworked skill. And 20 to 27 isn't actually that bad for damage. That's usually enough to clear out buildings, so at the very least you'll get a free clear once you summon that hero. Okay, we have the Jaxi over here. We do also have our Warlord skins to level up, and those do not cost any coins to do that. So if we are running short, we can also use those in order to count for the high growth levels. Okay, we have our Shaolin over here. Oh, okay, so as you can see, we are very close right now. Okay, so we need eight more. 
towards over to our Medusa. Okay, three more. Wish there were an easier way to filter out for these low-level legendaries. So number one. Okay, two. And three. Okay, great. We have done the requirements. We'll go over back to the fable, collect the gems, and move on to the next one, which is 115, but we'll get 1100 gems. And we're still okay. We still have a lot of level ones, so we'll continue on with those. And who knows, maybe we'll grab even a, another set of high growth. And normally we would be leveling up the higher level heroes so that way they can help us towards our might and then also have stronger heroes potentially for League. But we are running short on gems and so going into any world event with roughly around 3,000 to 4,000 gems is usually good enough to actually get to the middle of chapter 2 and potentially finish an event. So we want to have that kind of insurance, especially since one of the, I believe it's either the next event or the event after that, there will be a new hero. And so we want to be able to get some copies of it just so we can have it in our collection. And then also start developing a new strategy. Okay, we have the grandma over here. Not too bad. The iceberg over here already with a couple of reborns has a decent amount of block. Okay, also gets the attack boost. Okay, ooh, we have the fury over here. We did reborn them. We're getting some more attack boost. I like that. So at this point, whenever we summon this on an empty board, it'll deal roughly 200. And then with the attack boost, it gets even more dangerous. Okay, we have the storm rage over here. Okay, it's mostly an attacking hero. Okay, and then if it does die, we'll deal that much damage now. Not bad. We have the Hanzo over here. Also mostly an attacking hero. Okay, and as you can see, their defense has increased. And also if Metal Shield does dis disappear, you will get an attack boost. Okay, moving on. We got the Regardus over here. Okay, as you can see, also mostly an attacking hero. They do have that Hellgate to help them block. These heroes, the legendaries, they are ordered by how long ago they were first created. So as you can see here, we do have some of our baseline heroes. And so we are ending, we are heading towards the end of the collection. And so that'll be an indicator as to how many more heroes we have left to level up. We did reborn our Goliath, so now it deals a decent amount of damage whenever a hero comes on our side. Okay. Also, we have some decent defense now. Okay, uh, we got our Count Vlad. Has a lot of defense now. And, ooh, that vampirism is starting to go up. It doesn't count for so much combat damage to the Warlord, but that extra vampirism can go through block. And one more over here. Okay, we have that damage skill at the beginning of the turn. Okay, we can level up our Lancelot. With the Reborn, we are dealing a lot of Reflect damage. Okay, block increasing. Ooh, even more Reflect damage. And some more block to our heroes. Okay, we can level up the Mother Owl. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, we have more negative attack to the enemy. Okay, and then also we have increased our stats of the summon. Okay, we have the prince over here, and then I see the Mr. Devil at the very end. Okay, we have better defense stats for the prince. And then also better summons. So in this case now, better attackers, and then also better defenders. Okay, and finally for the Mr. Devil, we have... Well, looks like we're mostly increasing their attack skills. We'll have some damage skills as well. Okay, and some more damage to the Warlord, and then also the damage off of the Death Trigger. Okay, so let us actually go back to the Fable once again and see how many more levels we're off. We're off by about... I can't do the math here. It's 48. All right, cool. Still have a decent amount of gold. Could, could still do it. Yeah, let's let's keep on with our strategy. So we'll level up the everything that's at level 6 to up to level 11. So we'll filter again. Okay, more bleeding for our Ariok. Oh. Okay, some more attack steel. That's cool. Okay, let's level up the on Meraki. Okay, looks like some extra attack boost to those ranged here. Okay, that one's capped off. On the Murdin Care? 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 <laughs> Alright, getting some extra defense stats, also improving our summon. Okay, and then also the extra health boost for melee heroes for every rabbit. Alright, cool. Also seeing where our gold is at this point. So we're down in around the 660 mark. Gonna be a little concerned when we get down to, say, 200,000. As we still do have levels on our Warlord. Okay, uh, better health stats and better attack stats. For the Morgan Stern here. Okay, we have better attack, better health, better healing skill. And looks like both the attack stat to order and then also damage with the skill. Okay, moving on here. We have the Eternal Sun. And yeah, this is mostly an attacking hero, which is cool. Okay, yeah, not too bad. Okay, let us level up. Who's the next one on the... Oh, okay, great. We can level up the Shimuna. That's always a good hero to level up. Especially since she does have the protection with the Eclipse Shard. Dealing some extra adjacent damage. Okay, and we are getting close to the level ups over here. Yeah, one more, and we will see where we're at. Okay, we need 14 more. I see, okay. We'll go to our Freddy next. Okay, extra damage when it comes into play. Okay, and cool. we'll head over to our bolts next. We're just doing them in the order that they're out as opposed to specific heroes. It's okay. I, just for convenience sake. Because it is a pain to actually have to scroll over on each side. So we have six more here. And... Oh, four more here. All right, great. So we can put it into our Ogrork. Okay. And be careful here. Okay, that actually should be enough. There we are. All right, cool. So we'll go to our Babel once again. And we'll see now that we need 175... 
Okay, that is going to be a little expensive. We can figure out how much we have. So five, okay. I'm just gonna bust out the calculator and see how many we need to do or how much a average spend on a level is going to be. So in this case, it is 513 divided by 175. So that roughly puts it at around 2,900. We're gonna go back to our base and see what we have, at least from six to 11. So we'll filter once again. A lot of our heroes are going to be behind, but that is okay, especially since gold is being the limiting factor. So even at leveling leveling something up at level six, that all costs us roughly about 2,200. And it only goes up from there. So pretty sure we don't have 175 heroes that are only that cost. We could do these extra level ups here, which would increase the average. But again, we are going to be behind anyways, because let's see, uh, probably if we even said we do a conservative estimate of one hero. So one, two, three, four. Each one of these warlords have roughly about four skins on average. So it's another 16. So let me actually factor that in. 513 divided by one, uh, let's say 160. Okay, so 3.2k, which we won't have enough. So I guess we'll just have to cut off the high growth over here. We did get some gems. We started with roughly around 2,800. So they did cut down the amount of gems you get from the high growth. But with 1,500, we are now at least in the safe spot for the next world event. So that's cool. So yeah, so we'll end the high growth here for now as we are running low on gold you can see here that in the shop you can buy the gold and you just got to make sure that if you do buy gold it's actually going to be more than the level the level of gems that you will get so let's see so even if we spent let's see if we did 1250 so 550 let me do the math one more time so 813 divided by 175. Okay, so even with that, that's around 4.6k, which is still too much as you saw on the other leveling ups. The show has a good math example. So you see over here, it costs around almost double that. So we're going to hold off and we'll conclude this high growth over here. So yeah, so that's a high growth for now. And well, we'll just do the next high growth next month. So yeah, so thanks guys for tuning in. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.